If you're anything like me, the thought of changing a motor out on your FPV quad is pretty daunting. Open it up, get all the way in there, get to the flight controller and or the ESCs and uh, you know soldering straight on to them and all that. Um, not only is it daunting but it takes a lot of time and if you're out in the field it's even worse. So I'm going to show you how you can set your quads up to be able to change a motor out in one minute. Stay tuned. I'm going to swap out my really awesome uh, Avenger 2507 1850kV motors for some T-Motor 2208 2450kV motors which should really move on this thing um, but I'm not 100% certain I'm going to love them so instead of directly soldering to the ESCs on this thing. I've got these nifty little connectors. I'll put the link in the description. But basically they're I forget what they're called, but they're they're like an XT30, but they have three wires, so it's perfect for a motor connection. And I will now equip this bang god with you know on that side and then each of my motors will have one of these and so I'll put one of these on my old motors too and that way if I decide to switch back I can always easily switch back in about probably five minutes to switch all four motors out so I'm gonna not show you the whole process of all the soldering and everything but I'll show you the results in a few minutes yeah, well there's one side soldered I think that's gonna work really well Tighten this up so carefully with this stuff because what I do not want to do is mess up my connection. There we go. Oh man, that is tight. Again, not showing, not showing the uh, the boring in between bits where I'm doing the soldering, but uh, here's what we've got. So now. It should be a really nice little modular connection instead of the usual motor install really having to rip the bird apart. Now what I've got is the ability to mount that motor wrap this around come up underneath plug it in I mean I've added very little weight especially on a craft like the Bang God I mean that's not much weight at all and I've just bought myself, I think, a lot, a lot of uh, flexibility. Now, I will mount that same thing on my old motors, and then when I get new motors, I'll put those on right away. And uh, that way, if I have a motor problem in the field, I can swap a motor out in under five minutes. Looking, looking at my fit here, uh, you know, I, I left a little extra because I was just a little nervous. You know, you, you can never add wire back on, right? Well, not without some extra work, but I've ended up with extra. And I think based on how beautifully that sits, like I can actually kind of squeeze that back to there pretty comfortably. So I really do want this. I mean, it's kind of scary trimming trimming wires that short, but I do think that's my pigtail. Ah. Scary. 
Yeah, that totally does it. Okay, where did I put those marks? There they are. Connectors for making these kinds of connections and solders for especially for somebody like me who's I wouldn't call myself a pro solderer. Now, now I really should have, when that sits on there, that should just come right down nicely, nice and neat, and boom, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, so that's our length. That is gorgeous for me. Right then, there we go motor installed and you see these these uh, I'll link to these bumpers I've got these uh, Van God bumpers set up all around so anyway there's there's the new motor uh, rigged up and I'm thinking now I'll come around like this beautifully this way just exactly right. Well, that's lovely. So basically, now that will be what I consider a very nice setup. Easy swap motors. Never underestimate the value of electrical tag. You can really get these neat and tidy. Uh, there's my buzzer. It's double stick taped on and then also I've got it uh, electrical tape and the same with my GPS. So I think I'm not want to have that screw in there. But yeah, I think I'm going to be ready to rock. Let's do it.